GitLab issues are a powerful tool for discussing ideas and planning and tracking work. However, many organizations have been using JIRA for these purposes and have extensive data and business processes built into it. While you can always migrate content and process from JIRA to GitLab issues, you can also opt to continue using JIRA and use it together with GitLab through our integration. Once you integrate your GitLab project with your JIRA instance, you can automatically detect and cross-reference activity between the GitLab project and any of your projects in JIRA. In this demo, we're going to discuss the basic integration of JIRA and GitLab. Looking at this mock organization, Healthcare Provider Incorporated, we have an organization that's set up different verticals or business units um, amongst the organization. What we're going to do is take a look at the Restorative Therapies group, dive a little bit deeper into surgical technologies. Uh, these are all subgroups, and then within this surgical technology subgroup, you have several different projects. The front engineering, the front end engineering team is going to set up that integration. Um, this can also be done instance wide. So if I were to go into uh, admin area, if I have admin access and I go to service templates, I'm able to go down here and set up the JIRA integration as well. But we'll be doing this at the project level. Um, I can see I have a repository here. And what I'll do is go to settings, integrations, scroll down to find JIRA. Once I found JIRA, um, I'll need uh, some information that I uh, need to uh, populate or create over in JIRA. And so that's where I will go. Here we have our uh, project for Healthcare Provider Incorporated. Um, this is our Kanban board with several different issues. I will come back to this in a minute. Uh, but what we'll need to do is go to uh, our uh, API tokens for our Atlassian.com uh, cloud instance. And here we can create an API token. Create that, copy that. And I'm gonna bring that back over into GitLab. Here, I'm gonna have a web URL. This is going to be um, our uh, company name plus Atlassian.net for cloud. Um, I don't need to have uh, anything here using, if I'm using uh, Jira Cloud, if I am uh, using Jira Server, then uh, I'll need to add uh, this API URL here. Uh, for username, it's just my username. Um, it's recommended that you have an admin username for your Jira integrations. So something like admin at gitlab.com or whatever your organization may be, um, have that. So it, if uh, someone leaves the organization that they don't have an integration set, uh, directly to their email. That API that we copied, we're going to put that here. I'm going to enter that there. And then next, what we need to do is gather some transition IDs. In the most recent JIRA user interface, you can no longer see transition IDs in the workflow uh, administration UI. So you can get the ID you need in a couple different ways by using the API with requests like, uh, like we'll see here. Um, where I've put in um, our, our instance URL at a REST API slash two issue, and then I've used one of the open issues right now and transitions. And what we can do is we'll be able to get IDs out of here. Um, there's a lot here to find the IDs. And so uh, I can either do it this way, pull the ID, uh, transition IDs from um, this JSON, or I can use something like a JSON formatter um, Take this, copy that, put it in there, process it, and then it's going to uh, format a little easier where I can get those IDs. So these are all our transition IDs. Um, so I'll take 11, 21, 31, and 41. And once I have those, uh, I can go back into GitLab, add those transition IDs, populate them here test savings and save changes. JIRA is activated, so we are now good to go um, using uh, this basic JIRA GitLab integration. If I go over here to my board, let's take uh, this particular issue that I've created inside of JIRA, and we'll see that there's HPI 34. I have no comments, um, no activity yet with this. I'll go back to GitLab, let's go to our repository, and we'll make a, um, a commit 
and a merger quest, and we'll see how that populates and links back into Jira. I'll use GitLab's built-in web IDE. Just make a quick change. I'll commit that, and this is where I will add a commit message and create a new branch. Um, this is where it's important that I will now add that issue um, ID that we saw here. Uh, so HPI 34 uh, inside of Jira. Um, I put 31, so I actually need to make it 34. Um, add a commit message and to keep things consistent I'll do this with the branch as well um, and then we can commit this and then now what we'll see once this is done I'll go over here commit that and um, either it'll refresh itself or I'll need to refresh it real quick um, but we'll have that activity um, from GitLab here uh, inside of that Jira issue. So I can see now in the comment section, um, if I want to click over to this, it'll take me um, to that specific issue. And if I want to click on that web link, it'll take me back to GitLab showing me that commit. If um, I didn't finish my merge request, so if I completed this merge request, submitted that merge request inside of GitLab, uh, you will also see uh, that show up here as part of web links. Now I have a merge request and again that will um, open up directly into that merge request into GitLab. You can also see here now that there's a Jira uh, link here and this is going to take me all to, to all my projects inside of Jira uh, and that's going to be part of um, that left side panel inside of GitLab. So this is a basic integration uh, using uh, Jira and GitLab, have the ability to have visibility into the links tying back that issue inside of Jira to uh, merge requests or to commit that you are working on inside of GitLab. For a how-to on adding a development panel on the right side um, for your integration with Jira and GitLab, be sure to check out the next video talking about Jira's dev panel uh, availability using GitLab.